Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I'm going to answer a question from a user. They saw one of my earlier posts on an area cliff chart, and uh, I'll go ahead and recap those steps as well. But they wanted to know how do you do it with a stacked area chart? And what the use case is, is the uh, user has a three da data points, uh, X, Y, and Z, and they have it in an area chart. However, they don't have the value for Z yet. And what Excel does is it interpolates from point Y down to point Z, and it continues that slope of this area chart down to zero. But uh, since we don't have that data point yet, we want to show it in the chart, but we want it just to be a cliff and stop and not go down to zero. So how do you go about doing that? Uh, let me show you both of those techniques. And uh, all right, so here's our generic data. And so what you want to do is uh, for the standard uh, non-stacked cliff area chart, you want to just highlight, and I'm going to only highlight one row here because you probably only have one row in that area since it's not a stacked area chart. We're going to do insert ribbon. We're going to go over to the area chart types and we're going to do just a regular area chart now. Um, as you can see that slope, it's putting, uh, even though it's blank over here, it's going to go ahead and have that go all the way down to zero and we want to stop that. What you need to do is after creating your chart, go into your design ribbon, go to select data, and then in select data what we want to do is we want to click on hidden and empty cells and we want to change this to gaps and if we click on OK, you'll notice Excel go ahead and uh, creates a cliff um, in that area chart. It does not continue the point down to zero because we have blank data. Um, so that's the way to do it for a, a single area chart. Now, what you'll notice is as we create a stacked area chart, if I go up to my insert ribbon area chart and I do a stacked one, it is going to do the same as you saw before. It's going to interpolate and go down to zero for both of those series. Um, however, if I click on the chart, go to my design ribbon, click click on select data, hidden and empty cells, gaps is unselectable. It is um, grayed out. It won't let me choose it. So um, here's uh, what I devised for that is let's go ahead and start all over. What you want to do is create an extra dummy series that is going to stay at blank or zero for the whole chart. And so what you want to do is add that uh, different series to your area chart, highlight that range, insert ribbon, area chart, stacked area chart, and you can see that it's added a dummy series, but you can't see it on the chart. Then what you want to do is um, within the chart, click on the chart and you'll see it has your different series listed in here. And what we want to do is we want to click on the A first or the B, it doesn't really matter. And then in your series area over here, you want to uh, m grab that right bottom control box and drag it back one. You can also do this under select data. You can select the data series, click on edit, and instead of D5, we can do C5. If I click on OK, you'll notice it does the same thing for me and it creates that stacked area uh, cliff chart. Uh, now the dummy series is in here, but it's all zero. But if I started adding in some numbers, you'll notice that it, uh, it, it would start to show as well. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and delete that data. I'm going to leave that series out here, but I'm going to now remove it from my legend. Now you do that by clicking on the legend once, click on the word dummy again, and you see it is highlighted, hit your delete key, and now no one is the wiser that there is an actual dummy series out there um, that is just going to extend our Z area out. Because um, what I found is you don't need to do this extra dummy step in Excel 2010 and Excel 2007. Um, if you create this chart, if we go insert stacked area chart, you'll notice if I just come in and edit these series, uh, whoops, let's go back to series A, and if I shrink that series down to just show Y but leave my legend as X, Y, and Z, um, if I go in here and I do that, notice Excel automatically in 2013 is going to expand it and get rid of Z, saying, well, you don't have any data in Z, so I'm going to get rid of it. And uh, so once uh, it, it ignores it, and uh, the only way to get around that is to add that extra dummy series. So once again, uh, uh, add a dummy series, highlight your range, and then change it so that you are uh, under your design ribbon, under select data, you'll notice that our horizontal category access labels are X, Y, and Z. But then we're going to change each one of these other series to be just uh, 
columns B and C, and then the dummy series we leave alone and have it go throughout the entire range um, so that uh, Excel will keep that Z series out there. So hopefully you learned a new technique uh, the next time you're dealing with area charts, two different ways to go about cal uh, creating a graph or chart uh, that has a blank space um, to your next one, and so Excel doesn't interpolate it down to zero when it's actually in fact blank. Once again, this is Steve equals true. Please visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Also subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.